Hello and welcome back to Code and Bird channel. Today we are going to learn how to set up a GitHub action to sync two branches uh, in your project automatically. Uh, so why do we need it? Uh, often in your developer workflow you're gonna have a main branch uh, or master branch where every developer will target their PRs and when PR is merged, it would progress uh, to deploy to all different environments. And very often uh, you would like to have um, some kind of a playground for testing for your developers and QAs. And often it can be a develop branch. So on every push to master, uh, you would like to synchronize it with your develop branch. And here where GitHub actions can be very useful. It can speed up your development process and it can handle uh, different tasks from such simple cases like this a branch synchronization to some complex deployments. And so our today's goal will be to ensure that uh, every time something gets merged to master, uh, it gets synced to develop branch. So let's start. So here we are in our GitHub repo. I created it uh, especially uh, to um, demo it in this video. So it's empty and it has only two branches, uh, master and develop. And so now we're gonna start creating our first GitHub action. And there are two ways uh, to create it. We can do it in GitHub uh, UI. So we can just go to actions and we can start it here. Uh, with the uh, simple workflow uh, guide where it, it is going to uh, give you some template for your action uh, where you can see all different uh, steps with uh, uh, comments uh, in it. Uh, so we can start here or we can rather start in our code editor where we can just manually create a file. I prefer the second option, but uh, feel free to uh, choose whatever you prefer. So here I'm going to master and then I'm um, going just to um, create a new branch. Uh, git count branch and let's say I will call it just test one. And in this branch I'm going to create our first workflow. Uh, so I'll head over to uh, our file list and I'm going to create a github folder. Uh, it starts with dot means it is a hidden folder and then I'm going to create workflows. So here is a place, is a location where we're gonna keep all our github actions. And here in this workflows uh, directory we're gonna create a new file. Let's call it um, branch sync YML. So that's the file type for all GitHub workflows. And here we're gonna start um, creating our action. And the first step is uh, to name our action. So for example, here, uh, first line is a name and uh, we're just gonna name it like sync master to develop. And then we need to define what is going to trigger our workflow. And uh, here we're gonna have uh, this on, and then it's gonna be push. So we're going to do it on every push, and then uh, which branches are, um, so branches, uh, we're gonna do it on push to master, but of course it can be any other branch, whatever you have as your main uh, base branch. Uh, then uh, we need to set up the job itself. Uh, so it's gonna be jobs and then our job is um, branch sync and this job is uh, going to be run on the Ubuntu. So we do this runs on Ubuntu latest. And then uh, we're gonna define steps for this branch. Uh, steps, often uh, some steps are the same for many GitHub actions. So for example, uh, here our first step is gonna be uh, check out our code. So the name for this step is gonna be check out code. And uh, it is going to use an action, a predefined action uh, check out. So we type it actions 
and check out and then a version you probably uh, seen it already so it's like this it's like version 2 but the version depends on the version of node that you're using so i think version 2 is for node 12 if i remember correct if you're using a node uh, 20 not version 20 then it's going to be um, v4 or if it's node 18 it's going to be v3 i think uh, but anyway, uh, let's use V4 uh, as it's uh, the uh, la latest one for latest node, uh, at least right now at the moment. Uh, so then uh, another important thing that you need to define here is uh, that you want to uh, fetch a full history. Otherwise, you're going to run into some problems. Uh, so here... Uh, you do it with this with um, tag and then you say a parameter fetch depth is zero so this uh, will ensure your history is fully checked out and then we are going to configure a git user that going to perform this action so uh, go back to these uh, steps so another step is going to be set up git and we need to run just a couple of comments honestly i'm just going to copy paste it because i'm lazy to type i'm sorry so i'm just copy pasting these uh, comments that we're gonna run here and yeah i need to fix the intendation yeah um, then the next step is going to be an actual uh, push to develop um, so uh, the name is going to be let's do a descriptive name push changes to develop when master is updated and then uh, we are just doing some if if uh, github ref is refs heads master then we are going to run the following commands and they are basically the same as the ones you run locally when you're going to uh, merge your master into other branch so git fetch origin to fetch our code and uh, then git uh, checkout develop we are going on to the branch that we're going to synchronize um, and then we are going just to merge master and then git push origin develop yeah easy like that now we are going to commit our changes and we also want to add some text file to test so now i'm going to add test to file um, that's my second test file because i already added the first one and uh, we are going to add it as well and we're going to commit um, workflow and test file so now uh, we are pushing it and uh, now we can go and just open a PR we're comparing our test branch and we see that uh, we are having some uh, changes uh, here and we are just um, pushing them merging a PR and this is going to trigger our uh, workflow so here we can go to actions and you can see it is running uh, this yellow dot means this in progress and if we open it we can actually uh, see what's going on here so it is trying to push but it says that uh, the action doesn't have a uh, permission so what we're going to do here we're going to go to the settings repository and uh, here we are going to add some permissions 
uh, it is under actions and general so uh, we can go here and we can add the read and write permissions if we want our workflow to be able to push and then we save uh, so now if we go to actions again and we can we don't need to push again we can just rerun the jobs so rerun all jobs or rerun just failed jobs um, whatever you prefer in this case it doesn't matter and again we can see uh, it is uh, starting our job it managed to push successfully this time and it completed the job so what we are expecting to see now we are expecting to go to our uh, develop branch now we are on the master branch and you see we have two test files and if we go to develop branch we are uh, seeing exactly the same files and uh, they are all up to date even we didn't push anything in develop manually and another thing that you want to probably uh, consider here is merge conflicts uh, usually the branch would uh, be uh, restricted from uh, pushing to direct directly to it but if not for example someone can uh, go and push to develop and uh, let's uh, pull latest changes and let's say i want to change something here and push to develop oh. and i'm pushing to develop and then i'm going to master and i'm pulling from the latest master that doesn't have the change from the develop that we just made and then i am going to uh, go to new branch test 2 and i'm going to change the same file this is my cool test file and now let's see what will happen if we open a pr and if we are going to merge it to develop automatically it's not going to be a merge conflict if we merge it to master because we didn't change anything in master branch um, but if we go to actions now let's see how it is going to handle it you see it is failed uh, because we got a merge conflict and it doesn't know how to resolve it uh, so what we can do in this case uh, in this case we know that we always want uh, develop to be the same as master even if someone changed something there uh, we always want to get back to the uh, master version so what we can do here is we can add the flag uh, to always uh, use their changes I mean master's changes so it's gonna be like this and if you want to know um, what these commands mean if you want to know more about git commands and flags you can do this you can um, just uh, go and see all the list of the commands and also uh, all the flags for every comment for example if you do git merge and then this help then you can see and th that this one uh, this uh, uh, dash x file uh, flag means which merge strategy we want to use and uh, the one that we're going to use is theirs so we always want to uh, we will always want to use uh, changes that are coming from master and we can also add the space here just for it to look nicer and now uh, let's try to merge it and let's push and now let's go to our actions and see if it's going to fail this time or not so now you see that it is successfully uh, pushing our changes with this uh, flag it's not uh, complaining about uh, any conflicts and uh, if you go to our code and if you go to our develop branch 
and open test file, you can see that it contains changes from master. So that's it. That is how we are uh, synchronizing our branches. You can see it is super easy. So thank you for watching my video. I hope you find it helpful and don't forget to like and subscribe.